it's got more width though than yeah. length, doesn't it? Yeah. So it should have been a really bad innuendo there, Dad. So the recent, well, the most recent addition to the fleet, Dad, isn't it? The TM, New Holland yeah, TM 165. Yeah. The reason we, we went for this, uh, well, you've probably explained, but we were sort of after something. We were originally looking at a TM 150, weren't we? Well, we do, we've looked at the, the TW20 out there, yeah. and uh, that does a role. In, but of course, <laughs> there's, a, there's a limit how far you can push a near 40 year old. That's it. So we wanted something so, that was sort of. Yeah. Take, well, sort of ease the workload yeah. off the 20. Sort of low tech. So, but 150 horsepower yeah, tractor. Yeah. But this 165 sort of came along, and uh, this is a little bit more powerful than we thought, or what we were originally looking for. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Why? Why, why not? not? So, what we've got then? We've got uh, this. It's from France. It, yeah. This this was imported from France. Yeah. Yes. So we bought it from John Tompkinson, didn't we? John Tompkinson. Yeah. And uh, he's he's looked after us very well here. He certainly knows his tractors. His, he, his four tractors and his new holiday. He tractors. does know his fours, doesn't he? Yeah. You can see straight away the drawbar is. Uh, well, there's a bit of a thing with the drawbar, isn't there? Because the pickup hitch, when it was imported in from France, they put a what we call a standard pick a pitch on for us, didn't they? It's got cap suspension, no front suspension, four spools, two of that are taken up with... Uh, from the, for the hitch, the yeah. Pitch. But that's, that's more than enough for us, these three. That's perfect. We've had it spreading already, haven't we? We've had it spreading, yeah. The, with the old sulky spreader. Yeah. We haven't put your Amazon spreader on. We haven't put that on yet because we haven't got the right connections fitted on here yet. I think yeah. we need the isobus socket. Yeah, you do. On previous videos, we showed how we've got we've set the wheels. Yes, the wheels were set too wide. Yeah, so seventy-two inch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, I'll put a I'll put a link to that video. Um, yeah, we got there in the end. Yeah, I'll put a link to that video um, somewhere on the screen. And you go and check that out. But what we had to do is we had to switch the wheels round. Yeah. Uh, turn the centres round. It's quite a bit of work. It's quite a bit of work, but we got there in the end, and it's uh, at the right um, yeah, it's, it's spacing very, now, they, isn't they it? They were very wide, really, the case. Really yeah. Wide. We've got this topper on. It hasn't been out with the topper on yet. No, I've been topping with this once. On, on this? Yeah. Oh, have you? I didn't yeah. know that. Yeah, I did. The best bit Ooh, yeah. is where it came from in France. Oh, yes. It came from a place called Condom. That's quite funny. So, yeah. <laughs> oh, where is Condom? I don't know. We've been looking it up. I think I think it was somewhere <laughs> hot because there's been a slight issue with the sort of um, the cab interior finish. Yeah, it got a bit sticky. Yeah, I think it, I've heard of this before from Hot Climate. From Hot Climate, yeah. yeah. So um, not as much room as the uh, eight series. The seat leaves a lot to be desired. Yeah, not very <laughs> comfortable. Hard, but at least you've got a seat. I found something out the other day, Nick, and a, a proper TM driver will tell you. You can change the ranges by um, this button here, can't you? That's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're in B6 and you want to go to C1, so from B to C, yeah. you can either clutch it. Or you can press that button under the, the joystick. And then get yeah. straight in. Yeah. That's it, yeah. Yeah, we found that sort of the dash was a little bit sticky. We've, we've actually sort of... Um, yeah, we had a couple of the panels off, haven't we? Yeah, a couple of quite um, sticky ones <laughs> down here. <laughs> it's a lot better, but I think it's the heat. It's the heat from where the hot climate, yeah. yeah. It's sort of... This grey comes off into a black, but surprisingly, underneath the black, it's grey again. It's grey again, yeah, exactly. it was really strange. They've been taken right back to yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, grey. Yeah. You've got your PTO here, engage PTO on and off. You've got your 540 to 1000 switch there for the PTO. No more changing the, um, shot the shaft. shaft. No, yeah. no, you just switch that over. So if I do. Yeah, because so that takes you up the range. Yeah. You change it itself. It changes there itself because you're at a standstill. Oh, I see, yeah. When you're going along and you want to go from B to C, that's when you've either got to use the clutch or the button on the back there. Okay. It changes nicely, doesn't it? And five, A6. So now we're at the end. The yeah. range change now, down here. Yeah. Button. That's it. And it goes to B2. It's very good on the road. I like it. It's almost full power isn't it? Almost is, yeah. It's very much like being in a, uh, a, a later Ford, isn't it? Oh, very much. The side, the side windows are very much. I know they open like that. I noticed this too. It's like a Ford window, isn't it? Yeah. Same shape. But you can pull it. Grab it, you can grab it there. Grab it there. Yeah, yeah. so easy. Very basic uh, draft and uh, position controls here, haven't we? Yep, nice and simple. Very simple. Just like being in a Ford, I'd say like a TW20. It is. Yeah. Just like a TW20. Uh, Up next, JCB Fast Track 1125, another 
favourite of everybody's, I think, this one. I suspect getting almost classic stages like they now. <laughs> I think they pretty much are, yeah. We, we didn't have this from you. We bought this. When did we buy this? 03? Uh, no, it's no, a bit later. Seven, Nick. A bit later, wasn't yeah. it? Oh, I bought it at a farm sale not far from here. It had owed them 1,400 hours. It was one of these sales that I didn't go to buy it. No. I just saw it. Well, I, I just heard the auctioneer uh, what was going, washing it being sold, and I thought it was at a level, I thought. That tractor car go for that. It was, no. it was only, I'd seen it was only four, I'd seen it was fourteen hundred hours. Yeah, yeah. And um, I heard it. I thought, right, okay. <laughs> I can tell you what it was. It was it was fifteen thousand. Yeah. This is an eight-year-old tractor. With Even not, then, with not many hours. Not on many it. hours. No, on so it's tractor. worth. And a bit of a risk, I expect, but it wasn't much of a risk. Well, work that it's done since, Dad. And it's done. Yeah, it's done. All that work since it's done 10, 16 years. 16 no, years. No. What's, what's 21 to 2007? 14. 14. 14. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good spraying tractor. Or because it's. Um, yeah, we pretty much only use this for spraying now, don't we? Yeah. yeah. But it's done, it's done fertilizer spraying, hasn't it? It's done all sorts, yeah. It's been carting in. Been to, carting in. It's, yeah. it's not so good on the carting in. As soon as you go above sort of 10 or 12 turns, it doesn't like it. Doesn't it doesn't it. It knows it's got it, yeah. It has other faults too, as far as a, a tractor, doesn't it? Yeah. It, Fast tracks do, don't they? They do, yeah. Uh, annoyingly, one of them is the shuttle, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. The beep. <laughs> the beep, yeah. When you're in a corner of the field, you want to shuttle it. Oh, gosh. Reverse. Sometimes it won't give you the beep before it'll go. No. And it's so frustrating. It but is frustrating. You get that yeah. TM and just put a shuttle forward. Yeah. And it goes. Yeah, you have to keep going backwards and forwards sometimes with this yeah. one. Yeah. I think the only thing we've had done with this tractor is, is the clutch. Yes, we did have that yeah. done, and didn't I think we? By the sound of it, we're lucky to get away with one clutch. Yeah. Yeah, I've heard that as yeah. well, yeah. yeah. But yeah. that's pretty much that's pretty much it. I think it's uh, I think we changed some um, just one axle of disc brake uh, pads, didn't we? Change the pads. Yeah, I remember doing that with you. It hasn't actually had too much done no, to it, no, has it? No, it hasn't. Uh, I love this tractor. I think it gives you such a good ride. Yeah, it's a nice tractor to be with. It's done so one one two five. It's near one hundred and forty horsepower, isn't it? That's right. Yeah. It's probably, probably not all there now. Per Fif Perkins engine. 50k box. Yes, 50, 50k. I think they, um, I think that was the, the, that's the slowest fast track you can get is 50k, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it feels okay at 50, doesn't it? Yeah, it's, it's, it's and nice on the road. You go over drains that would throw you out of the cab on an order, you just don't know you've gone over. No, it's like you're in a car. Yeah. But what I like about it is when the booms are out, it gives those booms such a ride. Just think how, how easy it is on, mm. the, on the booms. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And I've looked at your booms in the day and I can't see any cracking at all no. that no, 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 no. I mean, they're good booms anyway, I think. Yeah. I've had it running today, so we probably won't get the annoying beep. Okay. I don't mind that so much. Oh, there it is. <laughs> it's, a, it's the clutch one to save you wide in the clutch, isn't it? Yeah. But sometimes when you push it forward, the shuttle or reverse, yes. it won't beep to tell you it's ready right. to go, will it? Truck like gearbox, doesn't it? Yeah. I quite like it and splitter. The newer ones, uh, it's just a um, two-way splitter, isn't it? Yeah, so you've got tortoise and hare there, switch yeah. between the two. So yeah, six speed, and obviously you've got uh, high, medium and low on the shuttle there yeah. as well. Just two spools on this, isn't there? Just basically two, yeah. That seems to be enough for us, isn't it? Perfect for us, yeah. Got this Bosch. Um, yeah, that's sort of okay, actually. I, when I first saw that, uh, when, we, when we bought this track, I thought, oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> but actually, it's what, touch wood, it's worked really well. That light, if you do that, it sort of gets sort of stuff out. I don't yeah. know, I'm not quite sure why that comes on. I mean, it's a bit tight. You can bang your head on the back window quite often. Yeah. It's wide, uh, it's wide. It's, the seat's... It's got a small cab. It is. It's, it's got more width, though, than... Yeah. Length, doesn't it? Yeah. So that's okay, but you... That's, <laughs> that's there could have been a really bad innuendo there, Dad. But do you think what, we, what we've what we done with it and what we ask it to do, well, it, it, it was a steal, wasn't what, it, really? Uh, it was. I mean, obviously a bit of a risk at the time, I expect. You've yeah. got to have, you know, you've got to find 15,000, whatever it was. Uh, you look what it's done, though. You think what it's done? Yeah. yeah for, for minimum sort of yeah. expense over its, over its lifetime. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. And I would say, probably, you know, it's, it's worth not far what we gave for it. But that's probably... Wait to look at it. So, class Alexian 760. 2012 model. 2012, yeah, I've had this since new. This replaced a 480. Class 480. 480, yes. wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. They're a good combine. Yeah, a good combine, yeah. 30 foot bed, this has got 35 foot. 35 foot Vario. Yeah, Vario, yeah. yeah. In a way, I wish the bed had been a 30 foot bed. Yeah. I think it's just a good match. Yeah. But the 760 really is a sort of replacement for the 480, I always think. Yeah. Because the 480 was uh, superseded by the 
580, I believe. That's it, which yeah. Which we didn't yeah. have. Yeah. And I think the 760 was a sort of um, stopgap model, I think. I, mm -hmm. think it was, I think they've got a load of 580 chassis left over. Yeah, 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 yeah. At the time, the 770 was a very large model. Yeah. Right? And this was the one just, just, just below. below it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So this, at the time, was the same physical size as the 770, which at the time was the big legs. That's it, yeah. One big difference that we uh, have with this compared to the 480 is, of course, it's on tracks, isn't it? This was the main thing, really. We wanted one on tracks at the time because of direct drilling. Yeah, compaction Since, and... Yeah, that's right. We were just yeah. getting into the swing of direct drilling with the clay when really that black grass hit us. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's everybody. There was a point, actually, not long, not long ago... We've been doing a right mixture of things <sighs> last few years, haven't we? But everything was going so well with direct drilling, and then... Yeah, that grass really sort of got a real major problem for everyone. Yeah. Somebody pointed out that these tyres are low. They're deliberately like that. Yes, I saw that comment. Yes, they are deliberately low. Now, I, this, <laughs> when we bought this combine, I, I didn't like them because on our, on our um, 480, uh, they were much wider. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the reason they put these on, they say these are better than that, and you run them low like this. Very good chopper and uh, chaff spreader. You can't fault that. No. For us, when we were sort of getting into um, direct drilling, you know, having tracks and a, a chopper that makes such a good job, yeah. and you go full widths, yeah. it makes a lot of sense. Yeah, absolutely. And then the drill doesn't block. Yeah. We've got experiences with um, the V drill. The, the Claydon V drill. It had a tendency ah, to it block. It did block, didn't and, it? But the hybrid doesn't, especially if we've got a good spread. Yeah, it's much better for blocking than that V drill. Uh, fairly easy to maintain, Nick. There's, um, it's, yeah. uh, we say it's easy to maintain. It is. It's, it's the cleaning down after harvest that's the hard Yeah, I meant, I meant from a greasing sort of service point of throughout view. harvest. Yeah. Fairly, yeah. We don't wash our combines for windstorms, just blow them down. We did wash it just pre-harvest, didn't we? We did pre-harvest, but normally we just blow it down rather than power wash it, don't we? Yeah. Two uh, rotors, um, being a hybrid combine, you've got a drum at the front. Yeah. And in fact, you've got uh, sort of two drums, you've got uh, a sort of accelerator and the, the main drum, and then the two rotors. It's got various banks of um, grease, greasing points, but they're, they're the easy ones, aren't they? They're the easy ones. There are some trickier there ones. There are some. And, you, we, we, and <laughs> normally we set aside a whole day, don't we, before harvest and go right through it. The auger is uh, a good point, isn't it? A good, uh, you've got, um, you know, you've got to get the auger in a certain position. Yeah, yeah. The knuckle joints to get. Yeah, they're quite awkward. Camera on the auger, the camera at the rear of the combine, haven't we? Yeah. The one on the auger is really good for the... Uh, Tipping the, tra the trailer. Yeah, for, for unloading, yeah, it's really handy. It helps, sort of, doesn't it? Sort of, yeah. I mean, you, you can still spin it, can't you, Dad, with the camera, but... Uh, yeah. <laughs> you, uh, anyone familiar with class, you've got this, this wind adjustment here. Yeah. Uh, there's, you mainly do it from inside, the speed from inside on the... On, it's all computer-led, isn't it, in there? Yeah. But uh, there's a mechanical con control here. Setting up Alexa is not... Is not uh, um, I'm okay with it, but I think anybody you know with a, a lot more Lexan experience will probably get more out of it. Actually. Yeah, I think we struggle with the spring, the spring wheat, don't we? A little bit, getting so, the sample. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I think some wheats, the, the, the Lexan doesn't, especially this model. I think, I think they've improved the wind on uh, this one. Hasn't got the jet stream. No, it doesn't have the jet stream, does it? And uh, I think to have a jet stream, I think it would be improved, improved the sample. I think it's fair to say. You know, the, the class samples I've seen are not the best. They're brilliant at quantity. Mm. Uh, and yeah, they're acceptable. Yeah. They're more than acceptable. I don't like sea losses like nobody does. Yeah. Uh, so you want to keep them... To, but then again, you don't want to see a lot of rubbish in the tank either. No. All the covers are off. Like we just said, we don't pressure wash it, do we? We, um, we blow it down after yes, harvest, don't several, we? several times. It takes several attempts. It does. It? It takes Anybody quite, who's seen the combo will tell you. It takes quite a while to get there's it. A, there's sort of the, the preliminary in the field after harvest, which usually means the front <laughs> down of the, the big straw. <laughs> yeah, but, could, but then after that, you, you end up spending a week on it, don't you? Getting all the nooks and crannies. Well, and... I, I find you've got to keep going back, because uh, yeah. A, you get a bit fed up with it, and B, you just don't do it in one go. No. These, uh... The one either side for the chopper, these are the 10 out. The 10 hour grease points, yeah. 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 And uh, electric um, setting it if you want to get bell straw. Yep. This is good for all changes. Nick, I spent a lot of comments on it. Quite, most of them do, don't they? Even years ago, they did. It brings it down to ground level. That's it, yeah. That's been like that really, nearly from you. We usually use um, an old gutter. Old gutter, don't we? Yeah, 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 bring it down to a bucket. To a bucket, yeah. yeah. That uh, container there. Um, self lubes the unloading chain. That's it, it does, yeah. It comes out on that brush, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. 
moisture sensors and um, it's fitted with a, a, a yield meter which is fairly accurate. Most of the control is done in the cab, all shift changing is done in the cab, wind uh, speed is done in the cab. Gone are the days when you get out and have to sort of fiddle behind the sieves. Yeah, everything's, the sieves. everything's in the cab, yeah. There's a fridge. That, yeah, that's, uh, that keeps things cool there. And there's a fridge underneath your seat. A yeah, good, a good fridge. You've got to have a good fridge. you got a CB in here, haven't we? Yeah, yeah. Don't really use it. Don't really use it, no. Probably should. So there's SIB settings there, for example. They're fully open. So that's, uh, it's dead easy to do. So all your controls you can do here. Drum, header, oh, grain tank. There, you can see that. This I'll is tell you what, yeah, we always have to clean that, don't we? Yeah, it's like yeah. double glass. Yeah. But after we spent a lot of time trying to get it spotlessly clean. I hate going in there to do it. About 15 seconds later, it you can't, can't, see, it can't see it. It's just a tiny hole to get through into there for cleaning it out. That's not, it's not, <laughs> not, well, it's not thought out. No. I'll tell you what, there's a smell in this cab that makes me think it's harvest time. Is there? Yeah. What could, sort of smell is it? I don't know. It's just, just a, just a combine smell. Just a combine smell. As technically advanced as it is, it's nowhere near as technically advanced as, as some of them. As some of them. Yeah, absolutely. I think we've got time for uh, one last tractor, haven't we, Dad? This is, this is the last tractor on this farm, isn't it? It is, yes. Well, unless you don't count the old Ford's and Major, but we'll save that for another time. Save that for another time, yeah. So we've got a uh, Ford 7710. 1983. My favourite, this one. It's in the workshop because it's um, had a few bits done to it, Dad, hasn't it? Started off with a slight leak on. Well, what really started it off, we've probably we've mentioned this before, that it threw about, or throws about rather, it's done it more than once. On the air con. On the air con. Yeah. And we wanted to get to the bottom of that. So, but what we've done, we've gone one step further and we've had um, a water pump uh, or belts or top hoses, but we did find that the radiator was leaking too. Yeah, so it's had a new radiator so new as well. Radiator. Yeah. That's right. So, and we're going to try and realign, it's only a fraction out. The air compressor. The, the compressor, yeah. <laughs> Not enough yeah. to throw the belt, I don't think, but we're going to make sure. Yeah. And obviously a new belt. And yeah, because it's been. Because um, it's been throwing that belt on and off for quite a while, yeah. yeah. That's done, apart from the air com that lining up. Lining that up, yeah. Uh, everything's done. It's been, it's been run up, actually. But we're still. Yeah, it runs up. Uh, we've just got oh, the temperature one. Temperature gauge sender gone, too. Temperature gauge sender had gone, that yeah. So it was reading hot when it wasn't hot. Um, that works now. So it's just got one, one more issue, hasn't it, that we've got to do fuel. before we. Uh, yeah. Well, <laughs> the original tap, which is here, it broke with you, didn't it? Yeah. Uh, this is the tap that feeds the, um, the saddle tank from the from the tank from goes the top there, tank in there. Yeah. Cut a long story short, um, we wanted to change it, and I've since realised we probably needn't have bothered, <laughs> but because uh, we thought by turning this off you could change the filters. Yes, and I don't think you actually need to turn it off. And to, I don't think you do. I think filters. all you'll do, it turns it off down to the saddle. Turns off the flow of, to the bottom tank. We started yeah. that anyway. Yeah, we started that. <laughs> and we realised by turning it off, it doesn't do anything, I don't think, to stop the flow coming from the fuel filter. No, it doesn't. No. So <laughs> we're doing it for nothing, really. Yeah. <laughs> but now we've got so far, we've got to there. Up there, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think we used to do this, turn it off, thinking, ah, oh, that's the thing Stop to do. the flow. For the, and now we can change the filters. It's still leak a bit, did not it? Yeah. But all it's doing is it's cutting off your flow to the tank. To the bottom tank. Because I think this is fed from the bottom tank. Yeah. Via the yeah. lift pump. Yeah. So, uh, we, <laughs> we're, uh, we are, but we're now we've sort of gone down that road, we've got to finish it. <laughs> when we first had it, this came new in 1983. So this came very shortly after the, the TW20. Same year, wasn't it? So I think this was the, the newer series of tractor all round. Yeah. Sort of 10 series, yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure the story would tell me differently, but uh, well, if you take the four wheel drive, for instance, you have a handle here on the 20, but on here it's an electric switch, yeah. Good driving flat floor cap like the 20, single mesh gearbox on this, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> easier to uh change than the, the 20, yeah. Yes, yeah. I think the tip with the 20 is a double clutch it. It's a little knack. Yeah, there's a bit of a knack, yeah, isn't there? Yeah, These ones are definitely a bit smoother. Yeah. <laughs> Annoyingly, the reverse is on the um, high and low. Yes, yeah, so you've got to go, you've got high, <laughs> low, be. reverse down there. That yeah. can be if you're doing a lot of corner work. Yeah, topping it up and down, short oh, bouts, lifting reverse. up and reversing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got a feeling, Nick, oh no, that might be the original suit. I've got a feeling it, it, it isn't. Is this, a, is this this isn't the original seat? No, it, it came at the time you could get this super deluxe seat. Yeah. And you've got these armrests and you've got lumbar support in the back. Right, okay. They were cloth and it, the, the armrest came down. The armrest, remember, it was cloth too. I remember you had this, definitely had this lumbar support. 
a great seat, very complicated seat they were, but <laughs> I think it was a problem. Yeah. yeah and this had one, because this was fully spec, this tractor. Top model 7710. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so this is bubble cab as well, like the 20s. So. <laughs> Note the warning device, because everyone has hit their head on Not there. Not head on there, yeah. Once we get that fuel tap sorted, all the covers can go back on and she'll be uh, good to go, won't she? She'll be good to go. In fact, we, we saw Michigan for, for topping already. Anyway, that's it, so we'll uh, we'll wrap it up, shall we? We'll, um, we'll wrap it up now, because it's uh, we've gone over time a bit. We've gone we? over a little bit. What we'll do is we'll do a second part at some point, because um, yeah. we've got other things. Like the gate of the fort and all the obviously all the implements and machinery and yeah, stuff. But we've yeah, seen you guys have seen, you know, the, the you know the main important machines. They've all gone to sleep by now. They've all gone to sleep by now. If you're still awake by now, <laughs> um, leave me a comment to say you're still awake, <laughs> and then I'll know that you've watched to the end as well. So um, fair play if you have. If you've watched all this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, credit to you. If you've enjoyed the video, guys, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, tap the bell, and we will see you in the next one. See you next one. Cheers. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.